So. It's June 1st. I flew back to Vienna after spending four months in Southeast Asia. Somehow this city means a lot to me. It's the origin of my story. When I arrived, I looked back at the time when I first moved to Europe on my own 10 years ago. I've spent the last 10 years of my life in Austria, and I couldn't help but wonder, did I make the most out of it? Why do I sound like I'm leaving for good, and where would I go anyways? This is Austria. I sadly have to admit that I didn't explore it like I explored Bali. What the fuck have I been doing the past 10 years? I mean, look at this. Just can't believe I never tried to explore it. I'm only making an episode about my past decade because somewhere in June 2007, I started my life as a young adult. I was born in Brazil, but I grew up in North Africa, so European cities were completely foreign to me. When I finished high school, I moved to Vienna and I didn't know what I wanted except to see snow. We left Brazil when I was one years old. I grew up in Tunisia with my parents, sister, and aunt. My father worked hard, but he also loved the work he was doing. I love my family, I love my dogs, and I love Tunisia. Eleven years later, we moved to Cairo. It was my first time adjusting to a new place, but it was beautiful and so much fun. Fast forward four years of high school, and this is where 10 years ago begins. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present the graduates of the class of 2007. Congratulations to the group. And then I immediately moved to Vienna. Vienna was totally foreign to me. I spoke the language, but that was it. I had to completely readjust to a new world. 100 years ago, Vienna was one of the intellectual and artistic capitals of the world. I saw Vienna as a kingdom. I had never seen something like it. Everything was amazing. I've heard many Viennese say this. If the world were to end tomorrow, come to Vienna because everything happens 10 years later here. I moved to Vienna in 2007, and not even a full year later, I moved out of Vienna. And to this day, I don't understand my decision. When I left Vienna, I didn't realize that I was just getting further and further away from what I really wanted. I couldn't bear that place. I mean, I tried but I wasn't fit for becoming a geologist. My interest in it didn't match my level of passion for rocks. I guess I just had something else in mind for myself. So I dropped out. I had good times ahead of me though. I left that place after nine months and went backpacking for the first time around Europe. I met old friends and regained my positivity about the future. When my trip was over, I tried studying again, this time international business. And this was the beginning of a whole new trajectory. I was back in my international element. This was in 2009. In that same year, I bought a new point and shoot camera, but it sucked. The pictures were terrible and the videos were dark, so I wanted to sell it. But before I sold it, my sister accidentally discovered the special feature of my camera. Super slow motion. We're talking 240 frames per second in my pocket in 2009. My mind was quite literally blown. I had a trick up my sleeve to observe my world better by giving myself more time to look at it. So obviously, I never sold it. What happened in the next seven years is a culmination of teaching myself everything I needed to know about how cameras work and how to run a small business. I started with making music videos with my friend Jerry. I then got asked to tour one summer with Left Boy and I landed my first corporate gig using just stock footage and then more jobs started rolling in. Within the next four years, I graduate from college, register a business, and spent sleepless nights editing videos for clients. 
This went on until the end of 2016 when I get kicked out of my second apartment and the fuse in me explodes. The result was the launch of my YouTube channel. I needed a place to creatively vent out where I decide how the video I am making should be. I edited episode 1 in Bangkok on a bed because the room I was in didn't have a table. I had 1 kilogram of clothes and 19 kilos of equipment with me. I reduced what I needed to its fundamental value and made use of what I had available. I became resourceful. Use what you have and create the best possible version of yourself. time for a metaphor. One of my favorite German words is Einstellung. It means settings or preferences. So take for example, when you go to your iPhone preferences, there are all these different things you can change about your phone's functionality. You can customize your phone to your liking and make it do things or not do things. But this word also means something else in German. It can also mean inneres Verhalten, your attitude towards something or a general mindset. So if you want to do something big, you have to change your system settings to set yourself for it. And when I burned out, I needed to change my Einstellungen because nothing felt important anymore. And that is a big problem. I knew that my mind was already so beat up and that I had to create new space. I Am Tim's music video is exactly about this. We built a rocket ship to give him space. He had to get out of his head. So I did the same. I followed Tim's footsteps and went beyond my wildest dream. I'll come back eventually, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna keep surfing this wave of unknown until something stops. Whoa! Nein, auf, 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 auf,